dear sisters and brothers, what a blessing to join our attentions and intentions to start co-creating this new year together. I'm Thomas Legrand from the Sacred Earth Council, welcoming you from France and the Mediterranean Sea to this one hour online event. Today and during the next six days, in partnership with Seven Days of Rest, we'll honor the sacred element of water and its healing energy. Today, we are also initiating a four year ceremony cycle of planetary healing. In some 15 minutes, we'll have a short ceremony of prayer for the water, but we will first introducing ourselves, starting with a five minute video presenting the work of the Sacred Earth Council. Thank you all. Marie, and I'm enrolled uh, with the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe in South Dakota on my father's side and my mother's side I'm enrolled, uh, well not enrolled, but my mother is enrolled at Cheyenne River, mm -hmm. uh, also a reservation in South Dakota. Precious and beloved relatives across the world, Sacred Earth Council would like to share with you our work. To start, before giving you more of our background, I'd like to share with this, this beautiful, beautiful quote from Crazy Horse. He was a Native American Lakota leader from 1840 to 1877. He said, I see a time of seven generations when all the colors of mankind will gather under the sacred tree of life and the whole earth will become one circle again. I salute the light within your eyes where the whole universe dwells. For when you are at one, for when you are at that center within you and I am at that place within me, we shall be as one. The Sacred Earth Council is actually emerging through dreams, visions, and synchronicities, the most important of which was in the late fall of 2019. Emelina Legrand and Ergena Fleury, myself, came together and discovered that we had the same or similar dreams at the same time 30 years ago. Emelina was 10 and dreamt of being introduced to a council. And I, at that time, was much younger. <laughs> and I also had a dream of being in inside of this council. And Emelina actually saw me in the council too. So it has been that way. These powerful synchronicities and dreams and inspirations continue to guide the work of the Sacred Earth Council. And so we are self-organized and we are diverse participants who share in this commitment of service to humankind, Mother Earth, and all beings that inhabit her. And we are grounded in a sense of the sacredness of all things. The Council welcomes participation by individuals from all spiritual traditions and is open to all who feel a call to participate. Our purpose is to support planetary evolution based on the recognition of our spiritual nature and the sacredness of all things. For the Earth community's evolution to be possible, the first step is healing, which is our main focus at the moment healing the history of humankind, healing the wounds of the planet. This needs to be worked out partially, partially worked out in a sacred way we know as ceremony. Ceremony opens and creates sacred space in an, almost all cultures and religions. Within this sacred space, 
many are more open, receptive, and feel safe. Epiphanies of insight, healing, understanding, resolution, and transformation can take place during and because of ceremony. Thus, we will be creating ceremony throughout 2021, 22, 2023, and 2024, and also hosting talking circles for integration and resolution and expanding the circle of the beautiful healings and insight that will be taking place over this period, these periods of time. Please join with us in every way and any way you can. Thank you. Tomas? Yes, Ejna. Would you like to introduce uh, yourself and our, and our work in the, the Seculars Council? Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, there was a very small introduction of myself, you know, in that video, uh, but uh, it, the most important piece is our continued strengthening of, um, of our spiritual nature, you know, all of us. And the other piece is the strengthening of working with the greater intelligence of the whole universe. Because with that, you know, that's how we're strong. So, and so, um, you know, I, I didn't, I, I don't, I guess some of you missed the first part of that video. So maybe I'll just say, you know, I am um, mainly indigenous of the United States. You know, I'm enrolled at Crow Creek Sioux Reservation in South Dakota, but I have French and now I've discovered English and um, Ukrainian, you know, from Eastern Asia and even Neanderthal. So, yeah all the way back to the stars, like all of us. So now I'll pass this to Emelina. She can introduce herself. Hello, my name is Emelina. I am originally from Costa Rica. It's been almost uh, around nine years that I live in France. And um, since I was very young, I was having a lot of vivid dreams, including the dream in which I saw Eshna receiving me into a council with three other um, council members that I hope we will find in the near future. And um, since a couple of years, I've been living close to Plum Village with my husband, Tomas, and my two daughters. And it is a really a pleasure to receive you in this um, ceremony and I hope we will be ha having a lot of times to share. Thank you. I pass the word to um, Robin. Greetings all, why? Uh, why is from my Salish language, Salish, Okanagan, and it's spelled W-A-Y. It's more than hi. It's welcome to our ways. Yeah. When I joined Sacred Earth Council, I heard Ejna's um, deep commitment to growth, change, and transformation during these times of co-creating a new and better world. And that's been my mission for many years. So as I listen to the vision, it caught me. 
and I hope it catches all of you. This is an incredible time of opportunity and possibility for all of us to examine that which no longer works and maybe never did. <laughs> and look at indigenous values and wisdom and see how they can be implemented into our current world to create something new and better for all of us. And that's why I'm here. Thank you. I'll pass it on to Lynn. Hi, and I'm Lynn. And um, trying to do a couple things here in the background. I'm here to, as the, the technical room host and I'm part of the Sacred Earth Council. Um, and I'm hailing, coming in today from Northern California in the Sierra Foothills. And um, been working on different projects like this with Ejna for a number of years. And so it's my pleasure to be here. Thanks, Lynn. Uh, I don't know if people can see me. Yeah. So, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm Thomas, I'm, um, I'm French. I'm actually also the husband of uh, Emelina. And, um, and yes, I think this, um, this Sacred Earth Council really, uh, really found us through, through Ejna, who came to see us in, in Plum Village, the monastery of Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh. And uh, I think the, the two pillars of the, the Sacred Earth Council really uh, uh, resonate deeply with, um, with my work. So we, we are working on uh, healing. I, I do energetic healing. And with Emelina, we have also been called to, to conduct ceremonies for the earth in, uh, in different places of the world, um, including for, for water uh, in order to um, to um, heal uh, environmental, material, and also energetic uh, pollution, uh, some related to historical traumas, uh, as we did, for example, in the, as, um, the Battle of Normandy, for example. And we had a ceremony there and for the Atlantic Ocean, and, but also in the Pacific Ocean, in the Indic Ocean, in the Mediterranean Sea. So, um, it's really great to be part of this of this work that we are initiating today. This this cycle of ceremony to to heal our our, our planet, and uh, and also the the other pillar we are working on uh, with Sacred Earth Council is try to to bring together the wisdom of all spiritual tradition, so that we uh, can. Um, find um, the solutions that we really need in the world today. And um, I'm actually finishing a, a book, uh, which I'm, I'm, I work in the, the field of sustainability and international development, including with, uh, with UN uh, agencies, for example. And uh, I'm finishing a book right now, which is called uh, Politics of Being, uh, Science and Wisdom for a new development paradigm. So I, I really think that each nation, each spiritual tradition has something to bring uh, to this planetary wisdom that, that, that we need to build on to, to develop, uh, to invent a new um, development path, a new, a new politics. So um, yeah, it's, I can always feel uh, the magic uh, each time we are being called to um, to to work with uh, the Sacred Earth Council. So, um, what do we have now, my dear wife? Please come on. So I will be sharing a little bit of what brings us together today. And um, today we're here to enjoy a part of seven days of rest 
which is an, an annual public co-creative event that invite people from all corners of the world. And in that way, they can share their local events and also their online events to cherish and replenish in the beginning of each year. This is the fourth edition of Seven Days of Rest. And in this context of creating positive energy for, for the year and in the year of the water, the Sacred Earth Council wants to open the gates of the four year ceremonial healing cycle. We have been called to initiate in 2021, a four year ceremony cycle for healing of the earth community from its multimillennial wounds. Many of us humans are being aware of this collective trauma and of the unconscious effects that it has on all of us and in all of our lives. And recognizing this vision, we realize that through this trauma, there are energetic blocks to the whole web of life. And through this process, of um, opening this four year cycle, we are inviting the elements. We're inviting water, fire, earth, and air. And all the four stages of life, birth, infancy, childhood, teenage, young adult, mature adulthood and elderhood and death. We are inviting them to the center of our prayers, to the center of our wishes, and the center of our cleansing. And 2021, it's gonna be the first year. It's gonna be dedicated to water, to in utero life, which is the waters that gives us life and to childhood. We will work in the integration of the multi-generational traumas that have been holding us since immemorial times associated to childhood violence, to war, to rape, torture, slavery, racism, religious persecution or ecocides, and many other ways in which we have harmed the energy of the web of life. We open this cycle honoring the year of water as a cleansing element to support us in the process of radical healing. The idea to open this period during seven days of rest gives us the opportunity to gather energy during a rest of the period to nourish ourselves, enjoying of all the offerings presented and preparing ourselves for transmutation. Thank you very much for being here for this opening ceremony. Thank you. So thank you, Emelina, that was just, um, It's important that we, we really acknowledge these things so that we can begin to heal these things. And a very crucial piece is our alignment with spirit. And so what I would like to do right now is I'm going to acknowledge that for my, my personally, personally I have opened sacred space for this four year cycle. But what we're doing right now is opening sacred space and building and increasing sacred space for this to take place. And those of you who didn't, were not present, our Sacred Earth Council actually opened this very year honoring Thich Nhat Hanh and we played the great bell chant which is called End of Suffering. And we held ceremony for seven days to encircle our whole planet in love. So this is actually flowing forth from that, from that ceremony to this ceremony. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to light this candle. I'm going to light a candle and what I want to do is invite all who would feel called and all who want to support this to light candles. So we will be lighting candles. You don't need to do it right this moment. 
because the intention is here. As I light this candle, this is intention is going to grow. And I would invite you to each create an altar that you can hold so that we can hold sacred space for four years. Lady Weaver, circle tight. Fill us with your holy light. Earth and air and fire and water, bind us to you. Lady, weave our circle tight. Fill us with your holy light. Earth and air and fire and water, Bind us to you. And so we're invoking the elements. So we gratefully acknowledge and welcome this great anointing of these times that was that these times are in, are gifting us and challenging us with from great source from mystery from the galaxies of all the star nations from the great milky way our closest star our sun our celestial relatives and beings, our beloved earth, our earth mother, the spirits of the four directions and of the seven directions, all elementals, precious ancestors of this planet and beyond, the spirit of all plants, animals, waters, air, the great muses and their majestic arts, our great archetypal powers and our souls. We entreat and invoke and call upon their presences, our presences, guidance and support in our prayers as we enter ceremony over four years. And even though we continue to be healed individual by individual, we launch and are being thrust into our collective healing now. And so we move from this ceremony to the ceremony of water. So what I'd like for you to do, for those of you who don't already have water with you, if you could just take, we'll take a couple of moments for you to go and get some water that you can drink that we can do ceremony with. And I'll, we'll just wait a couple of moments. And um, Robin is going to be singing a watering song as you get your water. Okay. This song is the song, as I was taught, of the little deer and the mama bear going to the water for a drink. And the little bear and the mama bear going to the water for a drink. So you can visualize that as I sing and as you're getting your water. Wichita, do ya, do ya, do ya. Wichita, do ya, do ya, eh. Wichita, do ya, do ya, do ya. Wichita, do ya, do ya, eh. Washa Taneo, Aya, Aya, 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 Washa Taneo, Aya, Aya,
Oh, that's oh, love that song. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have our water. If you could place your water before you where you can kind of gaze upon your water. Oops, I have to find the wrong thing there. Here we go. I have my water in this mug with the um, <laughs> this little my little friend here. So place before you water is listening. Water has always been listening, hearing every thought, word, deed, millennia beyond time, present in every blink of our eyes, glistening within every breath, enthralling our blood with each pulse of our heart, recording, remembering, resonating. Now pick up your water and hold it in your hands and close your eyes. Precious one, water, water of each cell, bone and crevice of this, my physical self, water of my blood, my breath and bones, water of the air caressing my life, water of the springs, wells, lakes, streams, rivers, and seas, waters deep within the earth and into intergalactic space. Vast consciousness, ever generous water, carrying, carrying us, cleansing us, enveloping us, birthing and bringing forth all life, teeming in the ocean, teeming in the air, teeming on the land, listening, hearing, recording, now, now, and now. Beloved, glorious, mysterious water, cleanser, healer, purifier, lover, ever generous beyond belief, vaporous, liquid, solid life master, Ancient one, divine one, reveler, roarer, builder, destroyer, birther, whisperer, sleeper, soother, wooer, artist, conjurer, teacher, blessed divine gift, blessed divine gift. Here come we worshiping thee, gratitude high beyond the moon, across the cosmos and beyond all time, our gratitude. Take now our breath, our prayers, given in our growing humility to seed, every, to, to, seed to heal every transgression, yea, abomination, acts of hatred, violence, and pomp, how every minuscule has been our sight, how very minuscule has been our sight, and abysmal our lost state, as we have authored and countenanced torture, evil, and pain, anguish, and grief, wounds of commission, omission, and denial, as many still do ravage and savage ourselves and our life on our beloved earth. Take now our will, our devotion, our pledge, our seedling offerings, one by one in eight billion, emerging in our awakening, dawning of our greater love. Take now our embrace. We enjoin with you into sacred alliance, you co-authoring life so long. We accede to you our will, 
as we allow and blossom into the divine. We give now our breath, our prayers. Sit your water down in front of you and place your hands over your chest. Close your eyes. Breathe in deeply the gift of breath. The gift of air. Water in the air. Living relatives that are in the water, in the air with us always. <laughs> Breathe in knowing love is in this air. This gift of life. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Breathe in love. Breathing out love. Knowing love is coursing ever more fully throughout your body. Filling every organ, pore, tissue, and cell. Now place your water. Place your water before you on your table or wherever. And place your hands over this water. Let your gratitude, your thankfulness, let your love for water pour forth to the water. Through your hands, your love for so many things you treasure. Talk with the water, either silently or loud. Water is listening, hearing, and receiving. All you have to give, share, impart. Allow all your feelings to arise. They may want to flood forth. Let the anguish of any memories or wounds or transgressions come if they spontaneously arise. Or let your prayers for healing pour forth. Allow whatever needs to emerge to come. Take your time. Allow, accept, breathe, talk, pray with the water, with your heart, your mind. Spend this intimate time with the beloved water, ambassador of love and healing. As the intimacy and deepening, allow that to subside and take more depths, deep, deep breaths of air and let your prayer subside and deepen into stillness. Stillness. Be still now. Alert to anything the water might want to share or gift or provide right now. So you may want to now take some of this water either in your palms or dip your fingers so that it can come into your palms of your hands and bring this water up over your head and clap and allow this water, this rain of our prayers and love and blessings to rain down with the grace that is flowing. Dip your fingers into the water or wet your hands 
and allow the water to touch and then bring it and spread it over your head. Dip your waters. Touch your, you might want to touch your chakras or your eyes or any portion of your body that might call for attention or healing or remembrance. In those spacious spaces special to you, let the healing balm of the water touch you, your body. And when you are complete, bring this vessel, this water, and please drink. Welcome, precious water, full of love and prayers. Come continue your journey within, cleansing, healing, purifying, allowing the transmutation of the body, the air, the earth, and humanity. We close this with Dr. Emoto's prayer. Water, we are sorry. Water, please forgive us. Water, we thank you. Water, we love you. And I'm going to sing for you as you close this within yourselves, a water song from the Northwest. I always see this as a feather floating down to the water and flowing from the water, from the river, the stream, the creek, all the way into the great oceans of life. Oh, 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 oh. you to a low, it is so.
So we wanted to have, oh, go ahead, Robin. We wanted to have some time to just hear from you, you know, just, we have um, shared this very precious gift, this offering that we're, we're bringing forth. And we just thought maybe it would be good to, to talk with you, hear from one another. And if you have something to offer or something you'd like to share, we're just gonna open this up for some time for us to just be together for a while. If you have something to share, if you'd like to raise your hand, uh, you can do that on your screen. Uh, under the little three dots down at the bottom, it shows you a place to raise your hand. And once you raise your hand, we'll signal you so that you can open your mic. Adriana? Thank you so much. It is my honor and privilege to have been invited by our beloved sister, Eshna. Uh, to me, it was a beautiful surprise for this beginning of the year 2021 to have gotten your invitation to be amongst all these beautiful hearts and these beautiful spirits of light, um, embracing Mother Earth and setting these beautiful prayers to start these four years of healing together along with our Mother Earth and to have a focus for water, have been praying for that and you, as you may know, or maybe you don't, but I would like to share that I've been working with Brother Phil Lane Jr. And it's been my life before and after I met him. <laughs> and it brought me to, to the point also to meet Sister Esh now, which I feel is one of my greatest privilege and and gifts in life and now meeting you all in this moment of starting this this prayer for the next four years it's i feel very very happy and and with lots of hope in in the future because it's been a very hard year for lots of us and and also um, it has helped us to strengthen ourselves, but at the same time, we want to know where to go and where to put this strength that, that's, that has been developed in the, in the last year. So as we've been working with our brothers and sisters from the South, uh, in, in South America, and especially our brothers and sisters from, from the Amazons, I would like to ask permission to the guardians of, of the heart and the lungs of Mother Earth to bring them present to you, to you at this moment and ask for your prayers for our brothers and sisters of the Amazons who are hurting and want to be heard. So that's my prayer today to share this with you all and that you might consider us putting us together and join these prayers on their behalf. And, and I thank you so much for 
letting me be part of this this prayer. Amen. I'm 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 giving thanks also Adriana. Thank you. And um, the discovery, the discovery of how it's really an honor. What an honor it is to serve, to serve actually, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you. And to see our circles growing. I mean, spirit is helping us grow, you know, to come together. So, yeah. I have a huge desire. I see Auntie Joan and Aurora just cuddling up together. And I would love to hear what Aurora has to say about all this. <laughs> if, if she feels like saying anything. <laughs> maybe she's saying it already. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Auntie Joan can be your voice. <laughs> She's very good with her voice when she chooses. Right now she's sitting and absorbing, which is a habit she has learned from her auntie. <laughs> so she's observing and listening and learning about people. There, and she's waving at Ejna and Suzanne. There's Suzanne. And there's Teresa and Lynn and Lucy and Susan. Look. And there's 655004. We don't know her name <laughs> because that's the only name that's up there. And there's Gail smiling. And we saw Foxy earlier, didn't we? That's <laughs> well. And there's Rebecca. And there's, there's Grandma Robin and Adriana, who spoke before about the Amazonian one. And there's Cher up in the corner. I think that's everybody. And there's Grandma Ejna. Yeah, there's Cher who was kissing the wolf in the picture. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there's Sasa. Sasa came in to wave. That's good. There's Sasa came in to wave. That's beautiful. And there's Claudia. Claudia. And I can never remember her man's name. It's awful because I'm the worst with names. But he's very mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So that it's nice when we see everybody's faces. That's why Andy likes the gallery view. So we are observing and listening. Sound like a good, did that, did that cover it? So we'll just say, Ola. Ola. So we are almost coming up on the hour here. Um, we want to remind or make it known it, it, we mentioned it earlier on in the presentation that we'll be having our first ceremony for the those in the womb and the birthing and, and the newborns on February 7th. But we're going to be hosting some preparation circles and uh, in preparing and continuing to open sacred space. So um, we invite you to uh, come and uh, watch for the postings, not only Sacred Earth Council, but weaving uh, the weaving Let's see, no, it's a uh, talking circle action group because they will be, we will be having a talking circles to support the ceremonies. These ceremonies are going to be, they're very powerful. You know, they're very powerful. And the work we're doing is really, you know, we're working for not only ourselves and our lives and our families, but our, our ancestors and for our the future generations. So, yeah, so we're just so thankful to 
uh, to just kick this off in a really beautiful, powerful, good way. So, yeah. Emanina or Tomas or? Yeah. I wanted to add that we invite you during this seven days. Um, we will be having the ceremony recorded that is going to be posted in our Facebook site so that you during these seven days can practice this water ceremony with the voice of Eshna. And in that way, we can create a space and we can create energy for the energy that we will need for year 2021 and the energy that we will need for this four year cycle, starting with water ceremony. And on the seventh day of, of this year, we will have another ceremony to uh, finish seven days of rest and to open the second gate to the, to the four year cycle. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just wanna let you know, I also put the, we have the ceremony on our website and I put that link in the chat for you and it's already there. Is there any other questions or sharings that want to be done before we leave? That's a... Okay. So hopefully we'll see you all on Feb on the on the seventh. There would be yes. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Tessa would like to share, Ajna. Okay. Good. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Bolivinak, everybody. Um, deep gratitude for the beautiful ceremony that we just partook in. It's um, an honor to be amongst you and um, really heartened to hear about your deep commitment for the next four years. It's heartening. Um, I'd just like to invite anybody and everybody who is free to a, um event tomorrow um, which is being held within the Storytellers Lodge <clears throat> on seven days of rest. And um, it's sharing a story on ocean restoration and this place where I'm from, where I live, that has um, been part of a 40-year trauma. And um, so co-creating this beautiful window of hope here. And um, I'd love for you to join me on this journey which is quite an emotional one for me and um, I am learning actually a lot of my strengths are coming from my emotions and um, and the flowing waters that happen when I am moved very deeply and it was beautiful to watch you earlier Ishna um, being so free with your flowing emotions thank you very much Naka thank you Oh, I might mention a little bit more information about the event. It's um, <laughs> it's in the in the um, seven days calendar under the Storytellers Lodge, and um, it's at one p.m. EST. The links are all there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, Robin, would you like to? Close us out then, please. Okay. Well, with a little prayer here. Grandmothers and grandfathers, Wankantanka, Tankashala, Kulanjutan, Allah, all the names that we call the divine mystery around the world. There is only one and we are part of that one. We ask in humility and joy from the love of our hearts that you would help us to support you in whatever ways are needed at this time. May we live from gratitude, from forgiveness, from love and humility and joy in everything that we do. Hiachatuolo, may it be so.
Aho. Aho. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. I'm going to ring the bell and we're going to close. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Blessings and love.